Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. Uh, and today I'm going to test my new LUT. Actually, it's not a new LUT, but I did some changes and I'm going to test that LUT. I'm doing a simple poster design as well as in Photoshop. So if you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And again, this PS this PST file and the color that, that I'm using today will be available on my Patreon and my Patreon link is in the description below. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. Now first thing first, let's create a composition. So for that, go to File, click on New. And I will just go for 8.5 over 11 size and keep the resolution as 300 and let's keep the rest as default. And let's click on Create. And right after that, let's drag and drop this image right over here. And let's make it a little bigger, Control T. Yep, maybe somewhere around this size. And let's see, let's drag and drop this image right over here too. And let's keep it under this layer. And Control T, let's make it a little smaller. And let's change the perspective too. So right click, let's change the perspective. Yep, something like that. And let's keep it here for now. And let's create a layer max, go to the brush and let's uh, get rid of these parts. So make sure the color is black. And let's erase those parts. So we don't need this anymore. And let's make a copy, Control J, Control T, and let's keep it maybe right over here and again change the perspective too yep let's maybe let's see let's keep it yep right over here all right now let's drag and drop another image so let's see this one let's drag and drop right over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom Control T let's move it right over here just like so let's do a small adjustment Control T just like so and control T let's move it just over here and let's get rid of these parts so let's go over here let's make a selection right over here go to select this layer go to edit go to content aware fill and from let's yeah I think just from the default it looks good so click on OK and again let's get rid of this part too so let's make a square selection and let's select this layer go to edit again apply content aware fill and I think this is let's see and from here too Yep, let's keep it like that and control T. Alright. Now let's add a shadow on the bottom. So let's go over here, create a new layer, go to the brush, and let's squeeze the brush just like so. Yep. And let's change the color to kind of darker color. And let's add a shadow and let's drop down the opacity just like so. 
Now let's do some color adjustments. So select this layer, go to filter. Let's go to camera raw filter. And from here, let's uh, increase the clarity. And let's increase the shadows and let's drop down the highlights just like so. And let's increase the noise reduction and let's increase the color noise reduction too. Let's increase the sharpening just a little touch. And from hue and saturation tab, let's drop down the saturation for orange and just a little bit for yellows too. Yeah, just like so. And let's click on OK. And let's do the same thing for this layer. So apply the same camera filter. And let's do the same thing for this layer too. Select, apply the same filter. And you know, like let's merge all these three layers. And let's apply filter. Let's apply the same camera filter. Yep, just like so. And now let's add a little uh, uh, kind of uh, fog on the background. So go over here. Let's go for the white color. Just like so. And let's drop down the opacity. Just a little touch. And same thing on the very same thing and right over here and let's drop down the opacity just just like so now let's create a new layer and let's add a little bit of lights right over here for that let's create a clipping max and just a little bit Erase it. Let's erase these parts. And let's add this right over here. So now let's apply a color look. So go over here, click on color lookup, and from here click on load. And this is the color that I was talking about and it's not a new lot but I did some changes on it. So if you want to get this lot, please check in the description as below. So select this one and click on load. And I guess like the intensity is too high so let's drop down the opacity to around 72 I guess. I think this looks pretty good to me and from here let's apply a hue and saturation and from the default preset. Let's change it to boost red. So this is what we have. Now let's now let's keep everything inside a group. Control G. And now let's make a copy of this group. So control J. And let's turn off the visibility for the group one and right click. Let's merge this group. So now we have a single layer and right under that layer, let's create a solid and I'll just go for kind of darker color, maybe something like this. And let's create a layer max and let's fill it with black. And let's go to the brush and from here, I'll just go for my favorite power explosion brush. So select this one. So like this one and with the white brush let's reveal some of these parts so just make a rotation and let's get those parts back so now let's drag and drop this image right over here and let's keep it under this layer Control t let's make it a little bigger let's add a rotation yep something somewhere around i think this size looks good to me and let's move this layer a little up
and let's add some text. Now let's uh, create a new solid, new layer and go to edit, go to fill and let's fill it with 50% gray and let's change the blending mode to soft light and let's do some dodge and burn. So let's start with some dodge tool. So here we have and let's add some burn. So, so yeah, that's uh, that's the final, and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial, and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.